working on our last field of waxy corn our last field of dent corn is across the road we have all the popcorn to do it is dry enough and ready to go so I have to decide if we do that before or after the dent corn this field is not doing great but it's improving it was popcorn last year so it's a corn on corn situation if we look at the yield map uh, there's trees around this field deer did quite a bit of damage so the outsides were pretty rough there's some areas that just seep water from underground all the time those were kind of tough it's probably gonna be pretty good from here to the end though but I'm only making 172 bushel an acre but I'm picking up almost a bushel per pass at the moment so maybe it'll be fairly respectable by the time we're done but, um, yeah just uh, Working on this last field of waxy. We will get it all done today. Uh, we are running short on room uh, We want to store all the waxy corn because uh, That's the one we get the premium on and we Can only deliver it at certain times. It's not really convenient to haul it in a harvest and We don't have enough room for all of it and all the dent corn that's left so things are getting tight we'll have figure out what we're gonna do uh, how we're gonna dry corn what we're gonna do we have one bin partially full of dent corn that we may actually haul that out and sweep the floor down and call that a waxy bin so we can hold all the waxy so we'll see we'll finish this field the dryer um, and the trucks can hold all of it so we will get this field done today but uh, to assess how we're gonna handle the rest of the corn crop after that I was looking at our records. We bought this farm and started farming it in 2016. It's only had regular corn on it one year, so this is just the second year we've had that. It's had popcorn and soybeans, other than that. And the other year it had corn, it only made 186. So I don't think it's quite going to get there this year, unfortunately. The outsides passes were just too roughed up by trees and deer walking through them and stuff like that so just a little tough to make up for it isn't it? Lots of 200 plus bushel corn out here in the middle just uh, not enough acres to make up for the perimeter. Got about eight acres left out here up to 176 average now so just waiting on a truck I'm gonna get out here in a minute clean my windows on the outside while I'm sitting still here. Um, everybody always asks what is waxy corn when I say waxy corn? If you Google what is waxy corn, uh, my blog actually comes up at the top. It'll tell you that. Uh, the main difference between waxy corn and regular dent or field corn is the starch content. So it's right here. Normal corn kernels consist of 75% amylopectin and 25% amylose while waxy is nearly 100% amylopectin. So it's a difference in the starch and different ways you can utilize the corn when it's processed. Uh, windows dusted, that's a little better. Truck showed up, so getting empty here. So I can keep going. Eight acres, I probably need two more trucks to get out of here. I got two passes left, but I can't hold it until I get a truck back. So just have to wait a little bit. We're short one guy today, so trucks are running a little slow. As soon as it gets back, finish this field up. Truck's back. Go get my two passes. We'll be done with waxy corn for the year. Almost done. Average 179, 69, 70. It's darn close to 180, so we can say it made it to 180. Gotta dump this on the cart. We need one more truck up here to get the cart empty. Get out the end here. Waxy corn harvest is over, and I'm just gonna pop across the road behind me here and dive into the last dent corn field. If anything, just to see what the moisture is. It was really wet when we were in there a couple weeks ago, 28 to 31 percent. So you can see where we had opened up this field, what, today's November 7th, back on October 27th. 
and it was running 28, 31. I think I got into some 32% moisture. So we don't really want that. It'd take us forever to dry it anyway and kind of hard to run through the combine sometimes. That moisture, we usually don't start till around 25. So I get it all unfolded here. Take another shot at it. Surely dried out some. See how dry it is. Uh, now it's running down in 20 to 22. My average from what I've just done on this first pass is just over 20%. So run around 23 here. So that's good. Don't know if we'll stay here or not though. We have to um, decide if we're going to stick here or go to popcorn. Um, there's some logistical considerations there at the elevator and at our own bench. It's our first harvest in this field, by the way. We just bought this field earlier this year. Now I'm sitting here waiting for the grain cart and trucking of waxy harvest to be done because the grain cart's got to get all dumped out of waxy before I dump any of this dent I'm full of on it. So can't mix the two of them. So I'm going to show you on the iPad what we're dealing with. Okay, here's what's up. So bin one is full of waxy. Bin two is full of waxy. Bin 7 is full of waxy. When we empty the dryer, which is this one, tomorrow, bin 4 will be full of the waxy we just finished. It will fill that up. Um, 5 and 6 are full of dent corn. 13 is about half full of dent corn. It's got like 3,500 bushel of dent corn in it. So the dryer holds 11,000 bushels, but we need the dryer to dry. So we can't hold the waxy in there and dry this dent. That will hold all the waxy between bin four and the dryer. Now we got the wet bin over here, that little guy right there, we need to use it to feed the dryer. So if we want to, we'll have to figure it out. It's hard to get the rest of this delivered to town. Obviously we can put another 3,500 bushel and fill bin 13 but we could also empty bin 13 and haul that 3500 bushel to town fill this and that would hold all our waxy it wouldn't quite be full but it would hold all our waxy which we get a premium on over the dent corn uh, the problem with getting rid of this dent corn out here we think we're gonna have like 15 20 thousand depending on the yield so 15 20 truckloads that we can't hold so the issue is, I'm going to be really dirty, I think, and I haven't shaved, but um, the issue is uh, one of our local large facilities had a bin collapse right before harvest, and they're just, they're totally out of commission. So that's a 9 million bushel facility off the table. It's putting a lot of pressure on everybody else. And we have an elevator just like five miles from here that way, but they are struggling because they can only get so much wet corn in. They can only run wet corn to like noon. It's all, it's all they can hold. Uh, I know a couple weeks ago they couldn't take beans, period. Um, they would haul one load out, call somebody and say, hey, you can bring one load in. So that's, that's where that's at. So it's gonna be whatever wax that we have beyond bin four, which I'm guessing is gonna be two or three loads. Maybe we just haul that to town and kind of skip that premium on that. That cost us, if it was three loads, it cost us about 1800 bucks in premium. And then we could dry all this field out here and store it probably in um, the rest of 13, the 11,000 in the dryer, and then you could use the 3,500 in the wet bin. And if it doesn't get dry, you could haul it out. So Dad and I will discuss that later or uh, we could forget all that for now and clean everything out and go start on popcorn because it's dry enough Got the golf on the field guy today. The popcorn's ready to go. So uh, I don't know if we'll sort that out tonight, but uh, Let's figure out what's going on uh, By the morning anyway, so we're really gonna do this field or we're gonna go to popcorn one or the other Just a grain cart full says dad from the bins We got to empty two more trucks of waxy corn and then dry it all overnight. So no use loading up on dent until we get all that processed through the system. So, be about it for the night, except for the unloading and the drying. Spoiler alert, we decided to sacrifice some of the waxy as dent and keep things moving. 